Okay, tutorial all night. In this one, uh, we are going to. I'm going to show you how to uh, put sound inside your application, and as well as a third-person uh, camera that is uh, driven by the accelerometer. So I'm going to launch Blender, and I'm going to create a little test scene here. Uh, no need to recess. Uh, I'm going to first create a plane here as ground okay something like that no, that's fine. okay and I'm going to add uh, some objects that are going to uh, have sound on them okay so first of all I'm going to put oh I should have okay the cube so put a cube here and another object here so basically like one ambient music and uh, three positional sound so an icosphere, object, okay, somewhere here, and another one like right there, column, okay, object, and that's it. I'm going to add a bit of uh, vertex color, just to have a little shading, okay, something like that. Okay, here and there, so it's not going to look too uh, uniform. And I'm also going to add, I'm also going to add some uh, on my objects. Let me scale them back a little, make it a little more clear. Okay, make sure that all my centers are inside. Okay, and vertex paint that one. And this one, uh, let's go for red. Okay, and this one, let's go for green, there we go, <coughs> and this one, let's go for blue, here, okay, okay, that's good. Now, we're going to add our uh, camera, camera that is basically going to be like a, a player, okay, uh, a player character. So I'm going to add for this, I will add a cylinder since I think cylinder give uh, the best result. And I'm going to center here and I'm going to also vertex paint that one in the purple. Okay. Now, important thing, okay, uh, before going really with the sound we are going to test that third person camera for this I'm gonna add physics so uh, on my plane my ground I'm simply going to uh, toggle and you have you maybe uh, you maybe notice that I'm using the latest blender for this tutorial okay so uh, this is this is the way like physic because the previous tutorial was done with 247 and this is 248 okay like not much change inside like blender like for the physics panel it's it's a little bit different but it is uh, the, the the same concept so basically I got a plane and I'm going to click on actor so uh, it's going to do the exact same thing that it was doing before okay and create uh, create you know like a static triangle mesh in the case of the cylinder this one I, I want to have it dynamic I do not want to have a rigid body I just want to have it dynamic Basically, I don't want my okay, player, my cylinder here, that start bouncing, okay, uh, around when it's <coughs> colliding with the ground. I just want it to, you know, like, just drop and just apply the law of physics, but not rolling physics. And I'm going to modify this object name to be player, because in my code, I will search the object name player. And I think I'm good to have, like, a first test run here. And... I'm going to make sure that everything is centered, okay? So, just to double check, we have our plane. Our plane is a static triangle mesh, and we've got a cylinder. This cylinder is a dynamic uh, body here. And I'm going to export. Okay, rename this scene for tutorial 09. And I'm going to go in scripting and go search my exporter. I click execute and I'm going to go
go here, change. Now I'm going to go in my SDK and select the data directory. Select. Everything is selected. Yes, we're all good. And export. I'm going to link my tutorial 9 with my application. Nothing new here. And I'm going to have like a first test run. And oh, I think I'm. Am I on the simulator? No, I'm on the device. I'm going to switch it for the simulator. Sorry. It should rebuild faster. Oh, no. I still have to rebuild. Okay, sorry about that. <coughs> Et voila. Now we have our camera, and for the simulator, okay, like I'm using here on line 46, define new simulator, okay, since the, uh, the simulator cannot support like the accelerometer, okay, so basically I'm using like the mouse, you know, to simulate what the accelerometer will do. So uh, later on, we're going to run this application on a real device. And we are going to simply uh, comment that line in order to use the accelerometer like it is uh, on the device. But, okay, I'm supposed to have, okay, I, I can see that the, the collision is working fine here. But I'm going to add, like, some wall here, okay, to show you that uh, the way the camera is built in code, we will always, you know, like, we will be able to collide with uh, other uh, static object inside my scene. Collision object, I should say. Okay, so I got, oh, I didn't duplicate, LD, oh, object mode, LD, and here. Okay, and make sure everything's centered once again, and I'm gonna call this one wall, and this one is going to be wall one. Okay. And I'm going to move them a little here and there. And as well, I'm going to just pick up that face here and put it straight on the ground. Like that. Okay. That should be fine. Okay, so uh, I'm going to vertex paint them so I can have, you know, I can at least see something other than, let's go for like an orange, something like that. Yeah, that's good. And just paint a little to give a little shading here. Okay, then I'm going to add collision physic. So this is a static object and this is a static object also. Okay. So static and actor will do just fine. Will do exactly the job that I want. I'm going to uh, update and export again. Have another test run. Oops. Okay. And now I've got my walls. And you'll see that I'm going to go with my cylinder, my player here. And now I'm going to move. So I have a wall. And I'm going to move, and you'll see that automatically the camera, you know, like adjust itself uh, depending on what is behind it. Yeah, voila. So this is like a typical uh, third-person camera, okay, that you can use for games or like any other type of application. And with the algorithm, I'm using like the bullet, uh, standard bullet API, so it only it's only going to collide. Uh, with, okay, uh, physics objects that have been added uh, using uh, Polly. Okay, so now we're all good for our third-person camera. Now we're going to start adding sound inside our application. So I'm going to go back.